guys, it's Jennifer from Craft Forest. This week we're celebrating Earth Week and we're being ridiculously corny and giving this one to the birds. So we raided the recycle bin for everything that we could find and decided to make some bird's nests and bird feeders out of things that we could find. We did a chip can, we did uh, some plastic bottles, and we got a little creative and, and also raided the kitchen for a tea, a teapot and some spoons and really wanted to see what we could make for the birds. So I'm gonna show you how to make this bird feeder here with a plastic soda or water, water bottle and two spoons. So to make this, all you need is a plastic bottle. To get the labels off these guys, it's actually pretty simple. You can peel the label off and then any little bit of the glue that's still stuck on it. If you soak this in some hot water with uh, just a little bit of uh, dish soap for about an hour, it'll peel right off and you can just kind of pull it off like that so you have a perfectly clean bottle. You need some scissors or an X-Acto knife some way to cut a hole. And what we're going to do with this one is, it, it's so simple, we're actually just going to cut two holes. We're going to cut the first one and insert our spoon and that'll help us to know where to cut the second one. What's great about this and pretty much all the crafts we do is that you don't have to be perfect. We're just going to mark a little spot where we want the bird to be able to sit and enough space to get our spoon through, okay? So I just made a little slit there, it's not a perfect circle. And then I'm gonna mark with the other side of the spoon where I want this to come through, okay? So I'm just gonna mark a little hole there, pull my spoon out, and I'm going to make a small little circle here. And I'm just using the X-Acto knife and kind of twisting it to make a circle. And you could use, if you wanted to, like grab a marker or Sharpie or something or a nail uh, or screw or something to make that hole as big as you want it to be. And then you can just sort of force your spoon through. Oops. There we go. So we're gonna put our spoon through. You want your spoon to kind of sit at an angle. Uh, you want it to tilt down a little bit more than we did on that one. So we'll work hard on the bottom one to make sure that it tilts forward because we want the seed to actually spill through into the spoon. So that serves as the spot where the birds are gonna be able to eat. I'm gonna go on the other side here because we wanna make sure that this is balanced and that it'll hang straight so all the seed doesn't spill out. So I'm gonna cut my hole here, and I want to make sure on this one that I get my spoon tilted to where it's gonna come down a little bit more. So I'm gonna come up a little higher on this one, just kinda go on an angle. I'm gonna cut another hole here. Okay, really simple, see, completely not perfect. It doesn't have to look great. The birds uh, won't know the difference and they won't care. So I'm gonna slide that through, maybe. There we go. And you can see that this one's hanging kind of on a little bit of an angle. Okay, so we're gonna take this one and actually just switch it around so that we have the angle coming down. There we go. So now we've got both spoons placed in. You see that they're a little bit at an angle because what we want to have happen is when we put the seed in, it's actually gonna slide down the handle of the spoon and sit right in the base of the spoon here. And then the other side gives the bird a, a nice little perch there. So we're gonna put this in and it can be a little messy. So we're gonna put a little bit of seed in there and spill it everywhere and maybe get a bird to come in to clean up after. Okay, so we'll put a little bit more in because I want you to be able to see how that comes down the spoon. I love these, so easy, so simple. You could even do it with like bigger wooden spoons too, which would be really cool. There we go. So you can see that it's starting to spill down the spoon. And so as the birds eat and as they come here, it's gonna slide down the spoon and it gives them a little perch and it gives them a place to eat. So cute, so simple, I think that took us maybe 30 seconds to make something that is adorable. Put the cap back on and then you can hang it. We just used a little bit of twine that we had. You could use ribbon, you could use yarn, really anything that you have. Hang it uh, from a tree, so simple. The other things that we made, uh, we tried to be really resourceful and figure out what we had. We've been doing at home, uh, we have two uh, robins that have laid uh, eggs and have nests on either side of our porch. So we've been leaving out little strips of ribbon and uh, leftover fabric and things and it's been really fun to see them grab it and pull it up into their nest. So with the juice bottle what I did was just cut out the opening and we just put a few uh, branches and twine and, and some other things in there with a little perch to give the bird a chance to go in and grab those things and take them to their nest. 
This one I love. We actually have an old teapot on the side of our house, and one of the robins is actually nested there. Uh, again, grab some ribbons, some twine, some things, just throw it in there, and this gives them a little perch, and then they can go right into the hole, and adorable, 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 and it's something that you probably already have. The chip can I love, so all I did was wash it out, and I covered it with some, um, some contact paper, and then took the lid and cut it in half, and it just attached it to the side. I used a little bit of hot glue there just to make sure that the lid stayed on. So that gives them a little bit of perch, and you could just hang that from a tree, or you could even just sit it somewhere on your porch, and that would give the birds a, another place to feed. On this one, for the milk carton, all we did was just cut holes on either side. We used a stick, uh, cut a small hole, and just used that for a perch, and filled it with seed. You could also do that with water. Um, I saw something the other day that I thought would be really cute in the milk carton. I read that if you put water and some orange slices in, the butterflies will come. So I thought that would be a really cool thing to try, so we're going to try that at home. So, so simple. Be really creative. Just grab the things that you have at home, and you can make something. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial on how to make a bird feeder and bird nests from Craft Forest. Thanks guys.